Soldier Boy. Fab Five Freddy told me everybody's fly. DJ spinning, I said, my, my. Flash is fast, flash is cool. Francois Sapa, flash ain't no dude. Hello, and welcome to a special episode of Superhero Club, your go-to show for all things comic book inspired on Amazon Prime Video. I'm your host, Stephanie Williams. Before we get too far in, if you want more superhero content like this, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Today, we are going to do a quick dive into the boy's character, Soldier Boy. We're going to get a little bit into his short comic history and also a uh, CB series history, which is also as short, but there's a possibility that it could be longer. First, let's get into this comic book history. There are not one but two Soldier Boys in the comics, but we'll get to that later. The first Soldier Boy made his debut in the boys' hero gasm number one, Babylon. In that issue, he's on the receiving end of a less than stellar review of his tryout to join the Seven. The hero giving him that feedback is none other than Homelander. Soldier Boy was introduced as a moderately insecure member of the super team Payback. And if that name sounds familiar, it should because it's also um, from the TV series. But he was willing to do whatever Homelander demanded of him. And if you've read this comic, you know exactly what I mean. So after issue three of Herogasm, we don't don't see Soldier Boy again until the boys number 32. When he and the rest of the Payback team show up to ambush Butcher and his crew, he gets his nose bitten off by Butcher. So he ends up looking like the Red Skull for a little bit. And you know, in this version of Soldier Boy is only like the show's character and name only because I just could not see the show's Butcher getting that close to the show's Soldier Boy close enough to like bite his nose off. Butcher ends up taking his meat cleaver and putting it into this particular soldier boy moving on to the second iteration or actually the original soldier boy because you find out in the boys issue number 53 it's revealed that the first soldier boy that we were introduced in the comic was actually the second coming to the original he was a part of the avenging squad and uh, he fought in world war ii and that's actually something that's similar to the soldier boy from the show because he also was in world war ii he ends up getting killed by a character named greg mallory instead of being betrayed by his teammates like he was in the series. All right, now moving on to the Amazon Prime video adaption um, of Soldier Boy. This one has way more impact compared to his comic book iteration. Buddy, you think you look strong? You're wearing a cape. Instead of seeking Homelander's approval and membership to the Seven, like the Soldier Boy from the comics, no. <laughs> right off bat, when Soldier Boy is finally uh, makes his introduction in season three, he is actually one of two antagonists for the season, the other one clearly being Homelander. Before being freed and thawed out by Butcher and his crew, this Soldier Boy had an entire, you know, much more meteor backstory and all of that. So, like, let's get into that. What do you say, Gunpowder? Give him the 4th of July. Let's light him up, Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy is introduced as America's first ever greatest and most popular superhero. We learned that his DNA was used to create Homelander, which is light years different from their relationship in the comics. In the show, Soldier Boy's real name is Ben, and he lived with an emotionally abusive and wealthy father who thought of him to be a disappointment. To make his father proud, Ben volunteered to be experimented on by Dr. Frederick Vaught. Ben received Compound B during those experiments, which gave him powers of superhuman strength, enhanced speed, and invulnerability. He didn't get the, you know, cool blast situation until after he was experimented on by the Russians. He also aged a lot slower than normal. Ben would go on to adopt the alias Soldier boy um, becoming a propaganda tool for bot in the process these people would rather die than be soviet slaves and even after all that his father still didn't respect him because he considered it cheating that his son used superpowers in order to fight in the war so what was soldier boy's life after world war ii Soldier Boy remained a superhero with Vought long after world war ii was over he founded hero gasm in 1952 it's an annual orgy hosted by Vought to give superheroes a place to relax or be terrorists to each other because that's also a thing. It was here that Soldier Boy and Stormfront would uh, spend a great deal of time together. Soldier Boy eventually became 
the leader of the superhero team paying back again if that name is ringing a bell i mentioned it earlier from the comics but in this case he's the leader and not just another uh member so all this time as far as the public news soldier boy was a superhero who fought for justice and liberty for all up into his disappearance during the botched mission in nicaragua in 1984. they took his body the public was then led to believe he heroically sacrificed himself to save America from a nuclear power plant meltdown. But in reality, he was set up by his payback teammates. They hated him because he was verbally and physically abusive to them. He beat the hell out of Black Noir after finding out he was trying to start a career in Hollywood. Um, and eventually his powers of being a super a-hole got him betrayed by his teammates. Soulja Boy was also responsible for the deaths of Mother's Milk's family. He punched a criminal's car onto the home of M.M.'s family and that is, that's what happened to him, which is just traumatic. I, honestly, I still wish that M.M. would have been able to at least get, you know, a couple punches in. So in the comics, Butcher is the one to torture and kill Soldier Boy for information, but in the Amazon Prime video adaption, he and Butcher develop a working relationship with one common goal to kill Homelander. So where the comic Soldier Boy was a pathetic pushover, the series iteration of Soldier Boy was still pathetic in ways, but more of a bulldozer or like a little mini nuclear power plant the way that he was burning everybody up. Cause I mean, he did make sure to get revenge on almost all of his teammates who sold him out to Russia. And that concludes this deep dive character session of Superhero Club. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm your host, Stephanie Williams. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more episodes of Superhero Club. Remember, you can check out all three seasons of The Boys right now on Amazon Prime Video.